Welcome to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals. You know, our blood and our body is 90% water and the hemoglobin in our blood contains iron. I'm going to show you how you can make some simulation blood by using iron and water and a very simple chemical reaction. To make this work, I've mixed up some 0.4 molar iron 3 chloride and some 0.5 molar potassium thiocyanate. We'll go ahead and put some drops of potassium thiocyanate in our test tube. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if five or six or 10 is good, more is better. Here we go, one drop to start. Yeah, huh? Look at, look at that. Can you see that over there? It's like full on blood. I want to do a couple more drops to concentrate it. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's, that's pretty good consistency of blood. It's a whole lot easier to see if we put this in some water. So next step, a beaker of water. Look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If we look at the chemistry, we can start to appreciate how this reaction occurs and why it looks like blood. I'm adding the potassium thiocyanate to a test tube. The concentration doesn't really matter. But when we add the iron chloride, there's an instantaneous chemical reaction that produces this. Iron 3 thiocyanate. Now that iron 3 thiocyanate has an iron group similar to the heme group in our hemoglobin in our blood. That's why it looks so similar. Now, I like to dump it into water so that we can really see that red color of the iron thiocyanate. And as a chemistry teacher, I'm always trying to use things like this to get my students' attention and to teach new things. One fun way to do that is to take these same two chemicals and put them on utensils. Now, I'm gonna put the potassium thiocyanate on my hand and look what happens. We get this nice simulation blood on the skin. Now this is a great way to get kids' attention. Of course, I, I remind them, this is not real blood. This is just to show the chemical reaction and make it fun. It's a great Halloween demonstration. You can do it with paper as well. So you can really get creative around Halloween time with your chemical reactions by making some paper that will bleed as you write. Isn't it fantastic? Isn't that great? A really simple reaction that makes a nice simulation blood. Well, I hope you learned something today. I know I did and I had a great time. And you know what? I appreciate you watching. And if you want to see any more, hit the, hit the subscribe button down there. That'd be great. I mean, I'm, I'm making them. I'm still making videos all the time just to try to inspire people to keep on learning. 